Hey guys, welcome to the first study vlog of third year. It feels crazy to say that I'm almost done my first block. This year I separated into four different blocks and my first one was obstetrics and gynecology as well as pediatrics. So I have one more week of Pete's clinic and then our exam will be this Friday. For obstetrics, they gave us recorded lectures and slideshows that we can review, which is how I'm gonna be studying for that. But for pediatrics, all our teachings were like case-based style. So instead I'm gonna have to go find some resources out there and and study the most common clinical pediatric presentations and hope that's good enough. I feel like in first and second year, there was so much on each exam and definitely this time it's reduced. I would say maybe like a quarter or a third of a usual exam, but now there's also way less time to study with our clinical duties. Like I don't even know how many more hours that I have to study. I have this exam tracker on Notion, which has all the different topics as well as lectures that were given to us. My goal for today is to write notes for these four as well as do some pediatric general review and then the rest of this I'll go through over the rest of the week. It's actually also the next day, so I need to go to my workout class, but once I come back, we'll be on it. I just finished all the lectures that I scheduled myself to go through today and now we're done all the OB-GYN um, academic half day notes. If I wake up early, I'll see you all tomorrow. Pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. Oh, I'm so tired. It is now Tuesday. Honestly, I've not been studying that much today and yesterday. Yesterday was like a really gloomy, cloudy day and I just didn't vlog. I did around like two to three hours um, just reviewing some lectures and get start getting started on practice problems. And then today I just kept working through those question sets. Um, these are my notes for the block. I accidentally missed this lecture, so I'll do it tomorrow. But the, for the rest of them, I have like made anchors which link them to the corresponding spot on the page and then here are just key points from every lecture so i sort of just been like reading through this and then also doing you world as you can tell it's going super well <laughs> i only decided to buy the question bank a couple days ago this year there's sort of been a shift away from a focus on physiology and pathophysiology onto more so clinical presentations and management and treatment so with that I find it's less helpful to just like read the management strategy and it's been more beneficial when I see a case and I'm sort of able to think through the problem. I do think that a lot of knowledge is actually carried over from my step one studying, which has been really helpful, but there is still a lot that I still need to review. And um, even the one block of questions that I did so far, I feel like it's been a good investment. In hindsight, I probably should have started this question bank at the start of clerkship, but honestly, I have no idea if this is a good strategy at all. Um, or if there's anything else I should be doing, but we will sort of just have to like trial it out and see. If you're new here, a little TLDR disclaimer. Obviously I wanna pass my exam, but that's not like my overall goal with learning. I think at the end of the day, when I graduate, I wanna be a good physician and not just a good test taker. So what's more important for me is being comfortable with my level of knowledge and the progression of my learning. So with that in mind, I'm not trying to get a perfect score or memorize all the small little details, but rather I want to focus more on long-term retention and understanding of the actual topics. And yeah, if that makes sense. So right now I'm just trying to decide if I want to do more or if I just want to go to bed. I think I might just go to bed because if I'm like half awake, I'm not going to be retaining much info anyway. And so... I will see you all tomorrow then. Today, I just woke up in a great mood. I don't even normally make breakfast, but now I'm running late. <laughs> I 
as you guys know i love using my ipad for school and this year i've mainly been using it to annotate lecture slides write notes during academic half days as well as to make my youtube thumbnails so thank you to paperlike for sponsoring today's video if you haven't heard of them before the paperlike is a screen protector for ipad which sort of emulates the feel of paper when you're writing or drawing and this feeling comes from their nano dot technology which are like these tiny micro beads that add a little bit of resistance whenever you're using your pencil i remember when i first heard of them a couple years ago i was intrigued but a bit worried that the protector itself would feel rough to the touch or be thick but now that i've been using it for a while i can definitely say that is not the case if you're like me and you take a lot of notes on your ipad they have this bundle called the note taker collection which comes with a couple different accessories in addition to the screen protectors the first one here are these pencil grips there's two of them that come in the pack I feel like it really molds well to how you hold the pencil and it just makes it comfortable when you're writing for a long time and the second item is this cleaning kit which i was super excited about because i was seeing everyone online using them basically there's this little plastic case and when you push it out um, this thing in the middle sprays and then you can use like the sides to wipe down the liquid off of your screen if you're interested in learning more i'll put a link in the description box which you can check out but i think one last thing to note is that they do have a 100 satisfaction guarantee if for any reason you're not happy with the product within the first 100 days they'll either send you a replacement or give you a full refund which i think just speaks to the confidence they have in terms of the quality of their products I've been having some difficulty focusing at my desk recently because I've just been there so much. So we're gonna go to a cafe that's open for 24 hours so that I don't need to worry about it closing and just see how much work we can get done there. wearing the exact same outfit as yesterday because I didn't want to wash and use it of clothes but I've just made myself a little pumpkin flavored latte I've been loving this little travel tumbler from Nespresso because it actually shows like your ice drink and it's actually perfect with the straw it's leak proof as well I was scared it was gonna leak yeah today is the last day of clinic and we only have a half day so let's head out <laughs> wait this is a cute shirt please so right now I'm on like a general outpatient pediatrics clinic and how the schedule typically works is that in the morning it's the med students and the staff so we see two to three patients each and then in the afternoon is normally when the residents come so depending on who the staff is either we'll still see patients on our own or we'll just be tagging along with residents. This first one isn't going to be that long so I'm going to try to finish it before the next patient comes and yeah. I just hustled over from clinic, like literally ran home so that I could get my car to the shop for the appointment time. And I'm just waiting for my friend to come pick me up so then we can go study together. Okay, this afternoon has been a mess. I just went to go pick up my car again. My phone went out of storage, but basically, since it's a long weekend, they're actually closed tomorrow, so they really wanted me to pick it up this evening so my car wouldn't be there overnight. So I took an Uber there, picked it up, and now I'm back at the cafe. Catherine's still there, she's getting another treat. And I'll probably be here for another 30 minutes. Some days I can't get out of my bed Some days I'm waking up on the wrong side of my head A beautiful day i love being woken up by the sunlight and we're starting off the day on the right foot found myself smiling more the moment you leave i feel down again i talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone 
swear that I'm trying my best You tell me this dress shouldn't be friend we are done with block one. I feel like the strategy of doing practice questions was good and I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the rest of the vlogs and hopefully study more during the vlogs instead of waiting until the end. I think that brings us to the end of this week's video though. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. And next week's vlog should be my first couple days on general surgery. So I will see you all then. Bye. I